Well, joining us now for more on this is Francesco Deveri, a professor at the Bocconi School of Management in Milan. Thanks very much for joining us on Good Morning Europe. Um, as Elena mentioned there, one main thing overhanging all this is the budget, of course, which has led to such tensions between Italy uh, and Brussels. Um, if Italy gets a new government today, just how difficult is its task? Uh, the present, uh, having a, a draft budgetary plan by mid-October uh, is the deadline that Europe uh, is posing to any country in Europe, including Italy. So obviously everybody expects that Italy is able to send uh, a draft budgetary plan by then. The important thing uh, is that uh, any new government uh, uh, should be cohesive enough uh, uh, internally in order to be able to deliver uh, a budget which uh, is considered to be sensible, first of all, by Italian households uh, and companies, uh, which are in deep need of understanding what their uh, scenarios are going to be. But also Europe and markets uh, matter. And so therefore, these are very important challenges. Uh, we don't need any government. We need a government that is uh, in a good condition to take uh, a coherent decision that can be uh, pursued over time. And can you sum up the various party stances on the budget in particular? For instance, how compatible are the plans of both Five Star and the Democratic Party? And then, of course, if it came to elections and Salvini and the League got in, what's their position? Uh, well, one thing is uh, somehow impending uh, uh, over um, every uh, party and every uh, government uh, is uh, an automatic increase of the VAT taxation, which is going to take place from January the 1st, 2020, because this has been legislated already uh, by the previous government. So therefore, uh, the first task that any new government should have is what to do with these uh, so-called safeguard clauses. Uh, of uh, uh, VAT increases, which was there in order to provide a guarantee for uh, European institutions and market that somehow uh, Italy's budget uh, and Italy's uh, uh, public finance was not uh, under control. Uh, the second thing is, uh, in case we are going to have uh, a coalition, a new coalition between the Democratic Party and the Five Star Movement, then we could expect that this coalition would be finding a common ground uh, uh, by stressing uh, environmental environmental issues, social issues, uh, perhaps uh, less uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, tax, tax cuts. In particular, I would expect that the flat tax would disappear from the political agenda. By the way, it was never there, uh, not even in the uh, League uh, uh, program. They mentioned this many times, but in fact, uh, there was no such a thing in their plans, uh, declared plans, uh, as a flat tax uh, uh, regime. In case we go to elections instead, uh, we would have a, a fight, as usual, uh, presumably uh, uh, electoral promises that are very unlikely to be uh, uh, followed by, uh, by concrete commitments uh, and actions uh, later on. There would be the increase in VAT taxation because uh, the new government wouldn't be able to send the, the draft budgetary plan uh, by October the 15th, but I would say perhaps not even before the end of the year, which is actually the time by which we want to have our budget uh, uh, approved. So the, the, the alternative is uh, having a, a, a government that is able to say something and take decisions now, or uh, going through an um, uh, election, which is going to be uh, uh, very uh, fiercely fought uh, between alternative parties with very little care about uh, uh, budget constraints. So therefore, this would not be very welcome at times in which we are, will be facing uh, a Brexit. We don't know yet whether hard, soft, uh, or non-existent. Um, then uh, we, we are going to have a continuation of the tariff war, presumably. So a country with a very high power public debt like Italy uh, should be there perhaps uh, with a draft budgetary plan which is uh, uh, written down uh, in order to reassure markets that we are not uh, the weak link uh, in the uh, chain uh, of causation of events uh, in the international arena. Just briefly, uh, I think there's a seven o'clock deadline tonight um, for the forming of a, a new government. What's your guess as to what's going to happen? Um, I'd like to have the answer. Uh, the one thing is that I expect uh, uh, Mattarella to, to give a, uh, um, 
a preliminary uh, uh, mandate uh, to uh, Giuseppe Conte, who has been uh, uh, indicated by the Five Star Movement uh, with the agreement uh, uh, um, of the Democratic Party as the likely uh, next uh, uh, premier. So I think that he would receive this exploratory uh, mandate. Uh, I'm not sure it will be already the design, the, the uh, predetermined uh, premier for okay. the new government. Francesco Deveri from Milan, the Bocconi School of Management, thanks very much for your analysis on Good Morning Europe.